Why does the church teach about stars? Nowadays, you hear many preachers are talking about stars. The star of this, the star of that. And um, most, of, uh, most of us or most believers usually know that uh, the, the topic of stars is usually, is usually taught by Muslims or maybe you find it in the occult or in the area of astrology. But now we find that uh, in the church today we are being taught about stars. So people are wondering, what kind of doctrine is this? Is it biblical? What does the Bible say about stars? So it's quite confusing to many people because they're, they're wondering. It's like it's something new. We are told that you have a star, you have what, your star is shining, your star has been stolen, your star has been exchanged, stuff like that. We hear about it from, you know, from different areas. So the question is, what does the Bible say about stars? And this video is for you. I'm going to answer you. What does the Bible say about stars? And we are going to get to the bottom of it. Why does the church teach about the star? Hello guys, thanks for watching. I'm Cleo Faswanyama, Cleo with him. And this is Christian Media, where we bring you news, commentaries, Bible-based teachings, gospel music, plus many more. And if you want to donate to this ministry to support us financially, use the information on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Well, yes. Why does the church teach about stars? Now, what is a star? What does the Bible say about star? Now, I want you to, to, to have this understanding. Now, the word star is synonymous to destiny. When we say star, it's not just uh, astrology. It is destiny. Now, Christians, we are not used to those terminologies. We are used to the word purpose. We are used to the word destiny. We are used to the word the glory, my glory, my purpose, the reason for my living. Why did God create me to, you know, why did, uh, what's my purpose on earth? Uh, why did God create me? You know, what's my assignment? All those things are, are what people call the star. So you may think it is something uh, different from what to believe, but it's not. It's the same things, but you call it a different name. You give it a different name. Let me give an example. Do you know that the word Trinity is not in the Bible? Trinity. The word Trinity is not in the Bible. But we know that the Bible talks about God the Father, God the Son, and, the, and, and God the Holy Ghost. So we have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, which makes the Trinity. But the word Trinity is not in the Bible. It's the same way. So when we say the star of someone, your star, what we mean is your destiny, is your purpose. Now remember, God told, uh, God told uh, Jeremiah, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you and I ordained you to be a prophet. So everybody has a preordained destiny before coming into this world. That preordained destiny is what is called the star. And unfortunately, which doctors know these things? Muslims know these things. Hindus know these things. But Christians, they don't know. That's why even God himself admits, say that my people, my own people who are born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, they are going to heaven, but they are perishing because of what? Lack of knowledge, because of ignorance. Now, the fact that which doctors teach about star, astrologers talk about star, and other, you know, uh, dark energies talk about star. It doesn't mean that star is, uh, is not of God. Remember, what the devil does copies from God. When you hear the witch doctor talks about star, it means he got it from somewhere. And I want you to understand that, you know, witchcraft, if you don't know, witchcraft was brought about by fallen angels. Witchcraft, they knew, witch, witchcraft is a technology in the realm of the spirit, which is being perverted in the negative way. So when you hear a witch doctor telling you that you have a star, it's not a lie, it is true. Let me give an example. When Jesus was born, Jesus came as a human being. He came as a mankind. And when he was born, they saw a star. The people who saw the star of Jesus were astrologers. The wise men there in, in that uh, passage of scripture, the wise men are what are called, uh, in Greek, they're called the Magi. 
the wise men are called the Magi. That's where we got the, the English name magicians. Now, those are the ones who saw the star of Jesus. So, I had one pastor saying that um, I'm born again. I'm covered the blood of Jesus. Nobody can see my star. is a lie. Love the devil. If the wise men, the astrologers could see the star of Jesus, they knew who he was. They even followed it to the country where Jesus was born and asked the king, where is he born? The king of the Jews. They knew who he was. They had information about Jesus. Remember, Jesus is God though. But they could see his star. They knew who he was. They followed to the location where Jesus was. Though they, did, they didn't have the exact you know, um, location, but they knew the country where he was born. He, they asked Herod, where is he born? The king of the Jews. We have seen his star in the east. We have come to worship him. That shows clearly that every person born of a woman has a star. Because the wise men, it wasn't the, the, the first star they saw. They, were, they are used to see stars because the wise men, astrologers, that is their job, you know, to look for stars, to study stars, and, you know. So they had seen many stars over the years. They had come across many stars over the years. So they know men have stars. They know human beings have stars. But they came across this star, which was unique. And this is why I usually tell people, when witch doctors, they spot your star is unique, they can steal it, they can cover it. It's true. It's biblical. There's a message I've taught about that. Now, they, they, they knew who he was. If you have seen the star the east, we have come to worship. They knew who he was. By looking at the star of Jesus. Even now, Herod, Herod, Herod killed innocent children simply because he was told there was a star. Herod is not a stupid man. Herod couldn't go that far killing innocent children if he knew it was nothing. Herod knew it was something, This it was an information, it was accurate because wise men were people who used to serve kings. Those were astrologers. These are the kind of people who are in Egypt. When Moses threw his stick down, turned into snake, they were the ones also who did the same miracles. So it's very important to know these things. Now, I wanted to understand something about the, this issue of, of, of star. The enmity between God and Lucifer came because of the star. I wanted to understand that. Understand, understand me clearly. When we read in the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 12 to 14, Isaiah, he said that, I will rise my throne above the stars of God. That's what Lucifer said and was cast down. He wanted to rise his throne above the stars of God. So there is something peculiar about the stars of God which made Lucifer hide them. And because of that, God threw him down. And what are the stars of God? I'm going to teach you in the subsequent videos about the stars of God. God has stars. God has stars. Lucifer said, I want to rise above the stars of God. So meaning the enmity between God and Lucifer came because of the star. He said he wanted to be above the stars of God. So God has stars. This is a very deep, deep, deep spiritual knowledge. Which we need to teach Christians so that they can be aware. Now, because of that, what did the devil do? The devil went to the garden. We usually told that... Uh, the devil took authority from Adam. He took the authority for, uh, from Adam. He did this. Now, what happened? That's the language which we use Christians. He took the authority. But in real sense, the devil took the star of Adam. He took the destiny of Adam. He took the position of Adam. That's what is called star. You understand? It's the same thing, but the language is different. That's why it's called the star. Every post, every person has a star. Every person. Now, your star is your destiny. Why does the church teach stars? Because you are born into this world to fulfill a destiny. Now, if that destiny has been tampered with, if that destiny, the enemy has attacked it, it has to be addressed. That's why the church needs to teach about star in line with the scriptures. Not stars in line with astrology. No, it's, this is not astrology. This is stars in line with the scriptures. What the Bible says about stars. Dig deep. There's a, there's, there are many things. There are many scriptures. We, do, we, do, we talk about stars. 
It's very important for you to understand. So the, the devil took the authority. We say that he took the authority of Adam. He took the star of Adam, the destiny, the star which God had given Adam. Because inside your star, if everything in your life is inside your star, your destiny. Your star is your destiny. So he took the destiny of Adam. Adam was kicked out. That's why the enemy had dominion over the earth because he took the star of Adam. So those who think that your star cannot be stolen, you are, you are joking. The star of Adam was stolen. Because the star of Adam was stolen, he was kicked out of the garden. Now Jesus came to restore back the star which Lucifer had stolen from Adam. That's why you find even the redemption story is about star. It's about the star. Now, we, do, we don't use that language, but it's the same thing. And when we talk about stars, it's not about looking in the sky and, you know, searching for stars. No, it's, it's not like that. It's, it doesn't work like that. So, Jesus came to, we said that Jesus came, the, the first Adam lost his star. The second Adam came to repossess the star which was stolen. That's called the dominion. It's called the star which God had given to mankind. There are two types of stars I'm going to teach in my next video. There's the star of mankind which God gave mankind and the stars which God gave, God gave angels. That's why we are, we, we are told Lucifer was a morning star. That that's why in the, the book of Revelation said that I saw a star. Angels also are stars. Human beings are also stars. Very important. Very, very important for you to understand the, this issue of star. So the issue of star is the issue of destiny because your battle is about your destiny. The battle in your life is about your destiny. Not because the devil is so much obsessed with your destiny. The same way he was obsessed with the destiny of Adam. Witches and wizards usually target your destiny. This issue of you have no job, you have no work, those are just minor issues. The main issue is your destiny has been tampered with. Once you have breakthrough in your star, in your destiny, everything concerns your life will open up. Because everything in your life is tied to your destiny, is tied to your star. That's why the wise men, by looking the, at the star of Jesus, they could know who he was. They knew his position. That's why they came. How can you come all the way to worship a little child, a baby born in a manger where there's cow dung and, you know, sheep had, uh, had defecated. They, and, the, the, the smell of that place was awful, but they came anyway and bowed down to a, a baby and, uh, you know, and uh, worshipped the baby. Why? Because of his star. So, never underestimate the issue of star. I know there are so many wrong doctrines out there, but star has to be taught in line with the scriptures. In, line, in, in this channel, I've done so many teachings about the star. In line with the scriptures, it will help you open your eyes. The, as I've said, the first Adam lost his star in the garden. The second Adam came to redeem the star which Adam lost. In the, the battle between the enemy and God is the battle of stars. That's why he said that I will rise my throne above the stars of God. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. I'll rise my throne above the stars of God. But he was defeated. So, if the devil targeted the stars of God, he also targeted a star. This way people need to be taught. Hindus knows ab Hindu know about their star in their own theology. Islam, they know the, about the stars in their own theology. The devil worshippers, the astrologers, know about stars. But the Christians, you, you, you claim that... Uh, he, uh, and not knowing about stars will make you uh, holy. No, you are you're deceiving yourself. Jesus said that my people, God, my people, my own people, who might die for them, are perishing. Why? Because of lack of knowledge. The, you Christians will lack knowledge in these areas. And when God is trying to bring this revelation to the church, we fight it, we fight it, we fight it. And yet, we have people in the church struggling with destinies. They don't know who they are. They're struggling with, with, with so many uh, so many problems. We go round and round, circles and circles. We preach dozens of sermons and nothing changes. Not knowing that the problem is in the star. 
I hope I've, I've answered many videos I've done in this channel. Go and check them out. See you in the next video.